morning guys, it's Maddie, and I live in Orange County now, so today I'm going to Disneyland for the second time this week. I was just there on Tuesday because it was my 20th birthday, but the diamond celebration is ending, so I really wanted to go again before that was over. And I really don't want to move my car because I've got such a great parking spot here at school, but it's Thursday, so hopefully people will be like going home for the weekend and I'll be able to find a spot when I get back. So, without further ado, just got to Disneyland. I'm in the parking lot right now and um, they gave me the thing to know where I parked and I didn't have a pen so I used lipstick to mark where I'm parked at today. So I'm in the first line of the day which is the line to get on a bus to the park. I'm finally past the gates and I'm getting ready to walk into Disneyland for the first time today. I've got my annual pass which is like my most prized possession and I am very excited to be going to Disneyland today. There is the Disneyland train station, all decorated for the 60th anniversary. I think it looks amazing right now. The first order of business is buying souvenirs that I don't really need. So I'm headed right now to the Mad Hatter on Main Street because there is a pair of ears I've been wanting to get like ever since I came here for the first time for the 60th anniversary. I have wanted this ridiculously sparkly pair of Mickey ears like ever since I first came to Disneyland for the 60th anniversary and I'm wearing ridiculously sparkly shorts today as well so I figured today was the perfect day to finally break down and buy them. And this is very sad. The Haunted Mansion is closed for refurbishment. And there's Splash Mountain. It's going to be my first ride of the day because it's already hot as heck in Disneyland. But first I'm going to go get something to eat. The restaurant I was going to go to is closed right now, so first order of business is going to be to find a bathroom rather than to eat. I feel like I have to talk really loud in order for this camera to pick up my voice here in Disneyland, so I feel like I'm just shouting at my camera and looking like an idiot in front of everyone. There's our picture from Splash Mountain, and I'm keeping like a totally straight face up there in the back. Eeyore! I'm finally eating, which is like the first thing I was trying to do when I got to Disneyland and I've been here for like two hours. The restaurant I wanted to go to by Splash Mountain was closed, so now I'm in this place at Fantasyland that I've never been to before. It's called Village House, I suppose is how you say that. So here is Hyperspace Mountain. I'm a little bummed that they did like a Star Wars theme on Space Mountain and the wait is actually not that long for Space Mountain, so I'm just gonna get in line. I ordinarily would never wait this long for it, but I don't want to have to come back later today for a fast pass. Some people think that it's like really boring to come to Disneyland by yourself, but I honestly have some of the most fun here when I'm alone. I get to hit up like all of the single rider lines and I can get on so many more rides and get so much more done when I'm not having to accommodate multiple people. People tend to make fun of me for this, but I always bring a book with me to Disneyland so that's something to do while I'm waiting in line. And the posted time when I got in line was 35 minutes, but now it says 50, so I'm really glad that I have this now. Procedures, including stowing hats, glasses, and all loose possessions in the car from Bosch located directly in front of you. Prepare for launch. Pull down on the lap bar in front of you. Good luck, and may the force be with you. We're inside now. That was the longest wait of my life. I'm at the front of the line and it is completely stopped. I am so upset. Okay, they got it started up again, so here we go. My camera told me that the battery died when I was on Space Mountain, but now it's turned on again. But just to be safe, I'm gonna go to Main Street and get some batteries, because I don't want to be stuck in Disneyland with a dead camera. Okay, so I got my batteries, and now I'm headed into Adventureland so I can go on Indiana Jones. The best part, in my opinion, about going to Disneyland by yourself is that you don't need to wait in the standby line for a lot of the really fun rides because you can get one of these. It is a single rider ticket and it lets you get like right to the front of the line. And I'm really excited because Indiana Jones is my absolute favorite ride in Disneyland and I really did not want to have to wait in the 40 minute line for it when I can just walk right on with one of these. You're off 
fruit journey is high speed and turbulent, going over rough and rugged terrain, and then suddenly you are turning sharply and dropping suddenly. It is unlike anything you have ever experienced, I assure you. Now, my friends, one final word of advice. Once you've entered the chamber of destiny, look not into the eyes of the idol. That would be dangerous. My eyes! Your destiny now! would be safer and I was just gonna keep them on and then of course I put them in the carrying pouch and at the end of the ride they weren't there so now I'm going to have to buy a new pair of sunglasses and I'm really bummed. I'm still really bummed about okay, losing my sunglasses you know, really so I stopped at this like little shop outside of the Matterhorn and got a Slurpee and like let me tell you Disneyland for real has some of the best Slurpee things I guess that's what these are that you're ever gonna have and I'm not even kidding it is so great and it, they're really small and probably overpriced but I mean I broke down and bought a new pair of sunglasses and I feel a lot better now because the sun was like seriously getting into my eyes and it was not a very good time for me so I'm really glad I have these now and they're really cute too so I think I'm still probably gonna go replace the ones I lost. Oh there's Woody! I'm in line for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and I'm reading like I always do when I'm in line and somebody saw what book I was reading and they told me that they liked it. So it's good. Making friends in Disneyland. I put my new sunglasses in my bag this time so that I can't lose them on the ride because that was a really sad moment when I got off of the other one and realized they were gone. I just put a bomb to this family on this ride. <laughs> to Pirates of the Caribbean. It's my first time going on it today and it's one of my favorites. Little known Disneyland secret, when the line veers off to two different sides, you should always pick the side on the right because it moves a lot faster. And that right there is the Blue Bayou restaurant. A few years ago, me, my mom, and my sister went to Disneyland and we had lunch there and it's really expensive. So when my sister saw the bill, she told my mom that we should dine and dash and my mom said, we were not going to do that. mountain again for one more ride and then I'm gonna hop on over to California Adventure but I'm gonna be coming back to Disneyland tonight because I have always wanted to ride the Matterhorn during the fireworks show. 
Soarin' over California is now Soarin' over the world or whatever it is. Like, I feel like there's a California theme that was going on in California Adventure and it's just not there anymore. It's starting to get pretty chilly here in Anaheim and so I just put on my Disneyland sweatshirt and then as I was doing that, I knocked my camera onto the ground. So I hope it still works all right since it just totally ate it on the pavement just now. <laughs> See which trick Ariel's voice will wait.
sitting next to was like asking me why I wanted to record the ride. And anyway, he told me I should have brought my GoPro if I wanted to film. But then we get to the start of the ride and I'm recording and nothing is happening. We sat there, honestly, for at least a minute. And so I turned my camera off and then just out of nowhere, it's like five, four, three, two, one. So I quickly turned my camera back on to try to get the start of the ride. That's all I wanted to record. So I turned my camera back off and then the guy next to me screams at me, why aren't you filming this? So I ended up recording the entire ride because of that guy. <laughs> before I head back over to Disneyland. I'm going on Radiator Springs Racers right now and I'm in the single rider line. I need to get back for the fireworks. So I have ended up very wet and very cold. So I am very excited to go over to Disneyland and go on the Matterhorn during fireworks so that I can dry off a little bit. While we were on that rafting ride, actually we could see the world of color behind us. And one of these days I'd like to be able to see Fantasmic, World of Color, and fireworks all in one night. But that night is not tonight. I practically just had to sprint over here to get here in time. So hopefully I timed it just right. <laughs> just left Disneyland. It's a little bit after midnight. Um, Indiana Jones was closed, so I went on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and then I went to Main Street and got some ice cream, and then I spent a lot of money in downtown Disney. So now I'm on my way back to my apartment. I was gonna go to, like, a Walmart Super Center and get, like, another memory card for my camera, but I am dead tired because I've been in Disneyland for about the last 13 hours, so I'm just gonna go home and get some sleep. Alright, I'm back from Disneyland. I'm very tired and my wallet is a lot lighter, but I had a really good day. And I'm very glad that you all spent the day with me. I'm gonna leave some links and some other good stuff under my bed, and I'll see you all on Tuesday. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>